We're joined by Chris Verone, Chief Market Strategist, I should say Chief Technical Strategist at Strategus Partners. How's that for a mouthful? All right, Chris, you're going to run us through a bunch of charts, stocks, bonds, commodities, everything we need to know in four minutes or less. The S&P, you say it's in the midst of a bull correction. Yeah, we think uh, the S&P remains in a bull trend. We're very constructive on the market's longer term outlook right here. The way we've been saying it, our language has been the integrity of this uptrend is still very much intact. The price action. And, and explain what that means in just plain, simple terms. What do you mean the, the, the uptrend's intact and it's got integrity? Yeah. When we look at all of our trend following tools, whether it's the 200 day moving average or the 150 day moving average, they're all upward sloping at this point. So the price action that we've seen play out over the last two, three, four weeks as we've corrected has been a healthy correction within a long longer term uptrend. And I would emphasize uh, the validity of support on the S&P chart in that 1220 to 1260 range, which we tested last week, quickly bounced right off. That's very valid support in our view. And we would continue to look for buying opportunities in that range over the next couple of weeks. And, and you think we keep going 1325 to 1330, how high? Sure. Uh, we're using 1450 for wow. our 2011 outlook. Uh, I'd say the risk to that call, in our view, remains to the upside, not the downside. And we just continue to remain impressed that even amid all this macro uncertainty right now, whether it's Libya or Egypt, uh, buyers continue to step in and support this market at key levels. And as long as that uh, is the paradigm that we're a part of, we want to be owners of stocks. All right. I know you also say that there has been no credit deterioration. How do you justify that? Sure. Uh, we like to look at credit broadly as a leading indicator of equities. And when we think about major tops in stocks, they're often associated with a shakeout in credit, with spreads widening or spreads blowing out. And, and when you say credit, we're talking bonds. We're talking bonds. We're talking uh, corporate spreads. We're talking LIBOR spreads. We're talking sovereign CDS spreads. And they're down, so you're not worried. Uh, when we look at the trends, say, in something like three-month LIBOR, which we look at as a very reliable leading indicator of U.S. equity prices, uh, while up modestly off the lows, it remains uh, very benign compared to the levels that we saw in, say, 2007, 2008, when the market was putting in the top, or even just last summer. Okay, moving on quickly, uh, copper. As goes copper, so goes FCX. Yeah, you know, I think one of the most compelling aspects of this market right now is the leadership quality of the stocks and the metals that are driving us higher. So we look at something like copper as a very uh, important instrumental metal in dictating where the market is going. And we see copper uh, corrected from an overbought position. It found support. Now it's back above its 50-day average. And we think copper makes new highs here. We think Freeport also makes new, uh, makes new highs here. Largest well. copper miner Freeport. Exactly. All right. And your, your favorite long is Occidental, OXY. Your favorite short, XRT, the retail. Sure. On the long side, uh, we like energy broadly. Uh, Oxy is a good example of a chart that has spent the last three, four years in a very narrow sideways pattern. It's broken out from this very big base. Uh, we think a name like Oxy, it gets through 100. It probably challenges 120, maybe 130 uh, some point later this year.